October 17th in 1989 that the Giants were already in the series, getting ready to host the Oakland A's in Game 3. Never before had the Bay Area's two teams met in the World Series, and the sports world was abuzz as fans awaited the ball game. But then something unscheduled changed the course of history. Just minutes before the game was to begin, the Loma Prieta earthquake hit. Here is KTVU's Gary Kaus report from 1990 on what happened next. Downtown San Francisco in the background and we zoom into Candlestick Park. At 5.04 p.m. Wednesday, October 17, 1989, at least 35 million Americans were settling in to watch the World Series on ABC TV. Announcer Tim McCarver was just recapping the previous game. Candy Maldonado with the hesitation, allowing Jose Canseco to score, and he fails to get Dave Parker at second base, so the open A's take... take Everything started rumbling and ground started moving. And took a step and I wound up about three feet over there. I took another step, wound up about three feet over there, and I said, "Hey, <laughs> I think I'll stand here for a while." We heard screams and screaming of, uh, get, "Let's get out of this locker room! It's an earthquake!" And uh, you couldn't just run in a straight line to the door. I mean, the place was rocking so much you, you felt like you're in a rubber room. Uh, the soot and the dust started coming out of the vents. I thought I thought that the stadium was coming down. I didn't know where I was for five seconds. It was the weirdest thing. I thought a migraine hit or something, but it was the earthquake. We were just out there getting ready to go out there and, and play the game. We were down 2 nothing, And, uh, you know, the guys needed to battle back and get back in the, in the World Series. And, uh, you know, that's what all our focus was on. And all of a sudden, the earthquake hit. And uh, believe me, that focus changed in a hurry. By all means, baseball becomes secondary to, to life itself. And uh, my first thought, you know, why continue the World Series? Right here, halfway down this stairway. I'm looking for my family, which I didn't see one of them at the time. Then I hear from the walkie-talkie of a police officer that the Bay Bridge has collapsed, which now I'm thinking, I'm hoping my family's not on that bridge. Um, couldn't make any phone calls out. Um, after a few hours, the game had been canceled. How are we going to get home? We can't go back across the Bay Bridge. How do we get home? You drive four hours in the other direction until you get to the other side. And finally, when I get to the other side, and um, I have detoured off the freeway, um, there's the Cypress structure, which is literally miles from where I live in Emeryville. Um, I pull over uh, and I take a look at the Cypress structure. I'm still in my uniform bottoms and I sit there for about an hour. And then um, I get in my car and I get on San Pablo and I finish my journey home. I get up at one o'clock in the morning and I go back to that structure and um, just start doing whatever I can to help the people that are working there. It's always been said that we are separated by water and the water wasn't the only thing that separated us, that we were two totally different sides. Um, but after the earthquake, the two sides pulled together to turn something that was a real, real bad tragedy into something that turned out to be really good as far as uniting the two sides. And that's it for this week's Second Look. I'm Frank Somerville. We'll see you again next week.